Well, this is it everybody. Leaving Alaska and heading towards Arizona to go pick up the truck house. So leaving the cozy little uh, 16 by 20 cabin my dad and I built behind. Aaron and I are heading south, so let's go do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. So we got uh, all our bags packed up, loading up her car right now. Let me tell you, it is freaking cold outside. There's the mountain bike right there. That's going. <laughs> oh, it's cool. The moon's out up there. Hey, it's going to be an eclipse this evening. Really? Yeah. Maybe we'll see it on the plane. Because we're going to Arizona. <laughs> Goodbye, Girdwood. Here we go. Arizona. It's negative six. Time to get out of Alaska. bags in Anchorage, so we're in Phoenix without any of her, uh, her most of her equipment. Aaron's got her bag though. One. One. And the bike came. You have one left. One ibuprofen left. We're here. We made it. We're in Phoenix. Just picked the camper up. They lost both, or not lost, they left our baggage in Anchorage, Alaska. So our bags are 5,000 miles away from here, so we're gonna have to stay in Phoenix for the night, wait for the bags, but uh, we're gonna start doing stuff, getting supplies, here we go. Here at storage, so we brought bikes this time, so I had to make room to fit them on. You should see this bike Aaron got me. It's really nice. It's the nicest gift anyone's ever got me before. Okay, here's the storage. We have to go pick Aaron's bike up soon. She shipped it down here. She can new one too, but what I did, I didn't want to get stuff stolen because I had the one wheel of my kayaks and I was gone for a month and a half. So I wanted to get a separate storage, put my expensive stuff in here and then park the truck outside. So that was a huge piece of mine, but now we're loading. Ah. We in business, she's packed up, packed to the brim. We don't even have all the bags yet. We get two more bags coming. Put the kayaks on one side, get the bike in this side, then we can get it, uh, Aaron's bike beside it. We're gonna go do that right now. Go pick up her new bike. We're here at the UPS store. You can't really see it, it's over there, but Aaron had her brand new mountain bike that she just ordered shipped here to uh, the UPS store. So uh, we're picking that up and then we're gonna go to some lady's house from Facebook Marketplace. I bought like a bike rack offer. So uh, we're gonna put that bike rack on and then we can get Aaron's bike on and then we're good to go. Good morning, everybody. We're in Phoenix and going to Sedona. On to Thunderbird. We're in Sedona at the Whole Foods. Getting organized. Look at all this stuff. It's crazy. So much stuff. Anyway, unpacking and getting stuff organized so it's not so chaotic. Cool, there it goes. That was a pretty cool biker we were talking to for a while. He told us where some of our trails are. So we're about to go test out some new mountain bikes on some Sedona trails. I think we're gonna try to find Bell Rock. It's supposed to be one of the easier trails to start off, so. There we go. Here we are at the Cathedral Rock Trailhead. Let's go send it. Here we go. 
trước right. <laughs> my white legs so from the so once you get to the town of Oak Creek, right as you're leaving town on the right, you'll see the Bell Rock Trailhead park there. And you're right about a mile and a half up Bell Rock Trailhead and then Cathedral Rock, yeah, Cathedral Rock will be in your right. Pretty nice smooth trail Bell Rock is, it's nice. As one would expect, total fail. My derailleur's all messed up from shipping the bike and a piece just broke off. So I'm limping it back down the hill, back to the trailhead. <laughs> Oh yeah! Ah! <laughs> Pretty chill. I just want to put out that what they call a beginner trail in Arizona and Utah, Moab, is totally different from the rest of the world. Seems like I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I just haven't. Uh, I used to work at a bike shop when I was 14 or so is the second job ever had. The sports change a lot. This trail's supposed to be easy and uh, there's some ledges and stuff on it, but it's fun. Heading back to the camper. So apparently when they ship the bike on the plane, uh, the derailleur hanger, which is this thing right here, the thing the derailleur hangs on, uh, was bent. So I wasn't able to ship gears or anything like that. So I had to go to a local bike shop and they used a special tool to uh, re-bend the derailleur to the proper settings, but we're back in the trail. Pretty cool. This was the shakedown run. That's exactly why, because uh, something might be going on and we, Something went on and we fixed it. So we're gonna go get a camping spot now, just outside of town. See what we can find for free. Cool, you guys probably can't see it, but like right there, there's some deer crossing the street. Like maybe seven or eight of them. We're in this little pullout. Moon's still up. We stopped here to catch the sunrise real quick. <laughs> there's like seven or eight deer crossing the road right back here. Look, hey. Dear sunrise, dear sunrise. Morning. Good morning. 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 <laughs> jump. It's a big jump. Get some internet. Time to YouTube on the road. We go do a video release for you guys. Driver only. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> well, the uh, cafe is closed. I'm going to show you guys the reason we do premieres. I know it seems annoying, but it's because premieres a little chat box pops up so I can actually talk to you guys right here while the video is premiering. So that's what's up with that. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be continuing this road trip really soon here. So we'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.